we have two terminologies of pol polity, political system, that we have to discuss. One is parliamentary sovereignty and another is constitutional sovereignty. We, it is necessary to understand these two concepts. If we talk about the meaning of parliamentary sovereignty, sovereignty means ultimate power, we know. Sovereignty means ultimate power to take any kind of decision to do whatever someone wants. If we talk about the parliamentary sovereignty, it means it, the sovereignty of parliament of any country to make any laws. They can change any laws. We know there are three organs of government, right? We know there are three organs of government. One is executive, one is legislature, and one is judiciary. If legislature is as much powerful that it can make any kind of law, and if it has the power to override the decisions of judiciary to control executive, then this system will be known as, yeah, this system is known as parliamentary sovereignty. Parliamentary sovereignty refers to the power of parliament to make any kind of law or to, it refers to supremacy of parliament over two other organs of government known as judiciary and executive. So if in any country parliament is supreme or parliament has the right to make any kind of law or to has the right to control judiciary and executive, then it is known as parliamentary sovereignty. And the best example is British Parliament. This concept is related with the British Parliament. It is said the British Parliament can do anything in this world except making a man, woman or a woman a man. So simply we have to write parliamentary sovereignty refers to a system of government, governance in which legislature, that is parliament, has the supreme power. to make any law or change any law. For example, British Parliament. Contrary to this concept, India has adopted, yeah, if we see the Indian constitution, we find in India there is a constitutional supremacy. There is not a parliamentary sovereignty. In India we find constitutional supremacy of or constitutional sovereignty. Constitutional sovereignty means constitution is supreme. Constitution has to be abided by all the organs of government. Constitution cannot be overwritten. And the features are there should be a written constitution, second, limited power of legislature. to amend constitution. Third, independent judiciary. And 
and fourth we can write federal structure. So if it is asked what are the features of constitutional sovereignty or constitutional supremacy. So we have to write these four points and its a definition. It will complete the answer. So that is it is all about constitutional supremacy and parliamentary supremacy. Supremacy refers to generally sovereignty. So if it is asked constitutional supremacy or constitutional sovereignty meaning is same more or less. So that is all about constitutional sovereignty and parliamentary sovereignty. We will discuss another concept in another video. Thank you.